Afternoon everyone, comms here. I've got a few questions that non-league files have asked me to answer for you guys. Um, before we answer the questions, let me just introduce myself. Uh, James Comley, play for Maidenhead and Montserrat, a centre midfielder by trade. Played a few games centre back for Montserrat, of course. And um, yeah, let's get to answering the questions. Hopefully they won't take too long for you guys. First question, how did you feel when you made your debut for Montserrat? Without that, it's a, one of the, the best experiences of my, my football career, probably. Um, to play on such a stage and such an occasion, it was a World Cup qualifier. Um, away to Curacao, which was a it was a good stadium. The pitch wasn't great, but the, the stadium the stadium and the atmosphere was was really good. Um, they had a strong strong team, a lot of Dutch players, um, Dutch place based players playing for them. They had um, Patrick Clive, that was their manager at the time. Um, so yeah, it was a, a really good experience, and obviously I was buzzing to make my debut for Montserrat. Um, there was a couple of us that was making our debut in that game, and um, we come away losing two one. A couple of dodgy decisions went against us, but overall it was a, a great feeling to finally make my debut. Um, question number two: What are the ambitions for Maidenhead as a club? Um, Maidenhead as a club, obviously the ambitions to stay in the league first and foremost, um, which I know we haven't performed to what we feel is the best of our ability this season. Um, been a bit of up and down, started well, fell off it a little bit, but hopefully we can stay in the league. I don't know, that's all pending on how the decisions for this, the season go from the league, I guess. Um, there's not much we can do about it right now. We've just got to see see what happens. Hopefully the league can finish and we can um, get ourselves out of trouble. Um, but yeah, staying in the league would be the overall ambition of the club, I guess. Question three, what was it like to play for Crystal Palace after coming through the academy? Um, that's a funny one because Obviously, after coming through the academy and playing all them games to get you to that moment of where you make your debut is amazing. And to, to get that opportunity and to make your debut is amazing. Um, I was absolutely buzzing. Obviously, it was tainted a little bit by the fact that my debut was a game that we was losing. We lost, lost in the end 3-0. 3-0 um, away to Barnsley, I think. Um, but obviously, it was a... A, a great occasion for myself, but I, I'm a winner. So for me, I couldn't be too happy with making my debut in a game that we lost. Um, the games following, um, starting against Southampton, that was a great feeling, great occasion. Um, another great stadium. But yeah, overall, for all the hard work I put in, during the academy days and even younger, um, w was a great feeling to finally make that, that debut for me. Question number four. Did you always want to play for Montserrat or did you have England in mind having played for the England C team? Um, during the academy days, of course, you're, um, you're looking to... Um, get called up for England and hoping something like that comes about. Obviously, well, you're looking to push on into the first team and then hopefully an England shout comes about. Um, at that time, I didn't I didn't actually know I was eligible to play for Montserrat. Um, but yeah, you, you're hoping that you can try and make that, get that England call. Um, obviously, when I come out of full-time football and went into non-league, um, England wasn't a fault of mine. Um, I, I didn't even think about playing for England C. That was never, that was never an, an ambition for me or never something that I wanted, was looking to do. Don't get me wrong, it was a, when the call came to, to play for England C to represent uh, the non-league England team, it was a great occasion. Again, played a really good Turkey team, had some players that had already played five, seven caps for the Turkey national team. So um, it was a good occasion. Um, 
it wasn't something that I was looking to do. Um, obviously, when it was um, when I had the chance to play for Montserrat, I w it was a no-brainer for me. I was always going to snap that opportunity up. Question number five, final question. Are you considering staying in football once your playing career comes to an end? I'd like to think so. That, that's definitely something I would love to do, um, whether that's on a, a coaching capacity or as a manager, I would love to manage. <laughs> I'm sitting here currently playing football manager, so um, yeah, definitely would, definitely would love to manage in real life as well. Um, hopefully that can come about you know obviously I feel like I've got a a few a good few good few years left in my legs at the moment you never know what you never know what's going to happen with injuries and whatever touch wood I I stay fit um well as fit as possible and um can keep playing but in terms of coaching I'd I'd, I'd love to coach um when my career is finished, I already do coaching now with kids. So um, I'd like to progress that into working into men's football and, and coaching or managing, definitely, for sure. But... Um